I'm really happy to introduce from the West Wing of the White House, Senator Mike Gennaris. I was wondering where you were going with that, Tom, but thank you for, uh, for the introduction. Um, and thank you for organizing this. And thank you also for that uh, recognition of the losses of the last week, both of the, uh, both the officer and obviously the councilman's uh, wife had connections to Astoria and to the Greek community in particular. So it was um, something we felt very, uh, very acutely. So I appreciate you recognizing that. Um, and uh, I know this is the second virtual uh, uh, Albany Day, if I'm not mistaken, hopefully the last, uh, but I do appreciate you organizing and putting it together. You not only have uh, the legislators uh, in, in the state with you, but I see the district attorney's on, the borough president, Donovan Richards is on. So. Uh, you have quite an assortment of uh, uh, elected leaders uh, as part of this call, uh, and that's because we all care about our business community and our small businesses in particular so much. I had set up um, a small business advisory committee before uh, COVID even hit, where we were meeting regularly and getting some thoughts about what uh, the community needed. And it was a good thing, in my experience, because then once, obviously, the events of the last year occurred, uh, we were ready with the infrastructure to um, to distribute PPE to the businesses as needed to provide whatever help we could on the ground. Uh, and that all culminated in what I, I know we're all uh, on this call very, very proud of. It was a state budget we enacted about a month ago uh, that provided a billion dollars in small business relief, 800 million in grants, 200 million in credits uh, on top of whatever the federal government is doing. This is state money uh, that will be available to keep our small businesses open and, and help them survive this very difficult time they've been through. Uh, and that money is largely unrestricted. It can be used to pay rent. It could be used to pay employees. It could be used to pay uh, mortgages or, or whatever is necessary to keep uh, the businesses moving forward. And so it, it's, it is something that um, uh, has been at the top of the list for so many of us. Uh, and I'm really glad we're able to get that done working with and hearing from our local businesses. Um, I do want to say, because I, I know we're all running around, I have to hop off before we get to the recognition, but uh, Queens Together, which is the nonprofit I'm recognizing, has just done absolutely incredible work uh, with Jonathan Forgash, who's running it, providing meals for people who are in desperate need uh, over the last year. Uh, and so we're proud of them. And La Delita in Woodside is a great Mexican restaurant that focuses particularly on women and victims of domestic violence and, uh, and its hiring and, uh, and the work that it does in the community. And so I'm very proud to honor them uh, tonight, in addition to all the other great honorees selected by others. And uh, before I go, I see Lieutenant Governor Hochul has joined us. Hello, uh, hello, Governor Hochul. Um, she was actually just in Queens uh, a few days ago when we were able to, to get together and, and talk about some of the important issues of the day. So again, Tom, thank you for letting me uh, kick things off. I appreciate all my colleagues, Assemblywoman Hyman. Uh, thank you for your leadership. I know my fellow senators will be introduced later in the program, but uh, they do great work and uh, we couldn't do what we do without the, the cooperation and unity we all we all bring to the table. So thank you all very much.